Imagine this for a moment. It's early 2026. You roll over in bed, pick up your phone, open your brokerage app, and your jaw literally drops. The three stocks you bought your robotics plays aren't up 5% or 10%. They're surging. You see green candles stacking like skyscrapers, and you feel something strange, something rare. You feel like you caught the future early. While everyone else is scrambling to get in now, you're already on the ride. That feeling is electric, and that is exactly why I'm making this video. Because we are standing on the edge of one of the most explosive waves in technology we... VS seen since the early days of the internet. Most people have no idea. Thanks for being here. If you're interested in investing, robotics, artificial intelligence, or just understanding where the world is heading, this video is going to be a game changer for you. Today. Today. I'm going to walk you through three robotics stocks, three companies that I believe are positioned to absolutely take off in early 2026. And as I break them down, I'm not just giving tickers. I'm giving you the deepest story, why this moment matters, why robotics is hitting a point of no return, and why these companies might be the ones that define the next decade of automation. Before we jump into the first name, I want you to get a sense of the world we're entering. Right now, the global robotics market is accelerating with a force we've never seen before. Industry research is projecting the robotics industry to reach almost $400 billion within the next decade. Annual robot installations hit over 4 million units globally, and that number isn't slowing its compounding. Companies are facing worker shortages, rising labor costs, and global pressure to automate like never before. People don't realize it yet, but robotics is shifting from nice to have to non-negotiable infrastructure. And the companies I'm about to talk about, they're not just surfing the wave, they're building the wave. The first company I want to talk about is one that many investors overlook because they don T realize how much it has transformed. And I can already hear some people thinking, isn't Teradyne that semiconductor testing company? Yes. Or... It was. It was. Today, Teradyne has quietly become one of the most important robotics leaders in the world through its robotics division. They own Universal Robots, the number one maker of collaborative robots, Cobots and They own Mir, a leader in mobile industrial robots. And if you've ever watched a robot glide across a factory floor carrying parts, or a robotic arm working safely next to a human, chances are you've seen something built from Teradyne's ecosystem. But here's where it gets emotional for me. There's something powerful about watching a company reinvent itself. Teradine isn't just selling hardware, they're building a future where small businesses, mid-sized manufacturers, and giant factories can all automate without needing a room full of PhDs. Their cobots are becoming so intuitive and flexible that automation is no longer reserved for billion-dollar companies. Imagine seeing a local machine shop struggling to stay alive, only to completely change its future because a your robot helped them scale. Those are the stories that make me bullish not just earnings, but impact. Financially, Teridyne's Robotis segment has been growing aggressively, and they're forming huge partnerships with companies like Siemens and Analog Devices to accelerate AI-driven automation. When you see major industrial giants betting on your robotics tech, that's a sign you're onto something. And with the restructuring they completed recently, their robotics division is now positioned to become far more profitable moving into 2025 and 2026. The robotics megatrend is real, and Teradine is sitting right at the center of it. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Robotics is not just about motion, it's also about perception. And that brings us to the second company. Cognex is the eyes of the automation world. Their machine vision technology allows robots to see, inspect, identify, and understand their environment. Imagine a robot arm picking up a part that's only a few millimeters wide or a logistic system scanning hundreds of packages per minute not. Because someone programmed every little detail, but because the robot can literally recognize what it's looking at. That's Cognex. When I think about Cognex, I get this feeling like I am looking at the early days of GPS. Nobody understood how essential it would become. Today, you can't drive anywhere without it. And in the same way, the future of robotics cannot scale without advanced vision systems. Without vision, a robot is basically blind fragile and limited with vision a robot becomes intelligent almost alive 
Cognex is already embedded in semiconductor manufacturing, consumer electronics, automotive assembly, e-commerce logistics industries, where precision isn't just helpful, it's mission. And as robotics adoption accelerates, the demand for high-performance vision will explode. We're talking about double-digit industry growth, compounding on top of robotics' already massive boom. People invest in robot companies. But the smart investors, the ones who look under the hood, realize that the companies enabling robots to see, like Cognex, could have some of the biggest upside of all. Every time I study Cognex, I get this quiet confidence. Not the loud to the moon excitement. More like the feeling you get when you discover something most people aren't paying attention to yet, but we'll have to acknowledge soon. And now, the third company. This one ties everything together. If Teradine builds the hands and Cognex builds the eyes, this company builds the nervous system, the operating structure, the logic. Rockwell Automation. Rockwell is one of the largest, most deeply entrenched leaders in industrial automation. They create the control systems and software that allow factories to orchestrate thousands of machines with precision, coordination, and safety. Here is the emotional truth about Rockwell. It is the kind of company that does Timic headlines but quietly runs the backbone of modern industry. And when a company like Rockwell starts leaning aggressively into robotics AI and next generation automation, I pay attention. They're integrating NVIDIAS robotics AI platform. They are designing factories that run on 5G connectivity. They're building systems where mobile robots, cobots, sensors, and vision devices all communicate in real time. When you see a company with decades of industrial authority shift its weight toward robotics, you're not looking at hype. You're looking at a tectonic plate moving. You know what's fascinating? If you add these three companies together, Teradina Cognix and Rackwell, you're not just holding three stocks. You're holding three layers of the robotics revolution. The hands, the eyes, and the brain. And emotionally, that makes me feel something rare as an investor. Clarity. The sense that I'm not gambling on, maybe. I'm participating in an inevitable transformation. Let's zoom out for a moment. We're entering a world where automation is being forced into existence. Companies aren't automating because it's cool. They're automating because they have to. Factories can't hire enough workers. Warehouses can't operate without massive efficiency upgrades. Even small businesses are turning to robots because the alternative is shutting their doors. For decades, robotics lived in the shadows of science fiction. Now, it's driving everyday reality. And I want you to picture the curve we're on. The early adopters are already implementing robots today. But in the next few years, especially going into 2026, we're going to hit a tipping point. The moment where companies that don't automate begin losing to companies that do. The moment where automation becomes the new baseline. And when that happens, the companies leading this shift are going to re-rate. Their valuations will begin to reflect not just what they are, but what they mean. And I don't want you to miss out on that moment. Not for FOMO, not for hype. But because so few times in investing do we get a chance to enter an industry right before the acceleration phase, we saw it with cloud computing, with mobile, with AI. Robotics is next, but here's where the emotional part kicks in. Investing is more than numbers. It's being able to look at the future and ask what's coming, whether people want it or not. And robotics is coming. It's unstoppable. Once businesses realize robotics isn't replacing people, it's saving them, scaling them, empowering them. That's when adoption will go vertical. And when that moment hits, these companies could be positioned in a way that's almost unfair. And I want to say something that might resonate with some of you. Not investing in the future is also a choice. It's the choice to let the world move ahead without you. But if you're here watching this, I know that's not who you are. You're curious. You're forward thinking. You're someone who refuses to wait until a trend becomes obvious. You're early on. That's a gift. So, if this video opened your eyes or made you think differently about the robotics wave that is coming, take a second and hit the like button. It genuinely helps the channel more than you know. And if you want to keep learning, if you want more deep dives like this, make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell so you dante. Miss any of the upcoming videos, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. Which of these three companies stands out to you the most? Are you holding any automation stocks already? Or is there another robotics play you believe is about to explode? Let's...
talk about it.